Hello, Terry. How are you? Very Terry good. is uh, my uh, Qi Kong uh, members, and he worked at Qi Kong and Kung Fu with me for many years. You know, since uh, 19, uh, 19, uh, 1979, 1980, you know, around that time. You know, so. Uh, Terry, I have a question to ask you. How do you get, deal with those uh, difficulty, or uh, some people have the we call it a uh, bad luck, or uh, you know when they have a have a bad uh, habits, you no? Know? And uh, how do you deal with them and then create your success? Can you tell me some experience or some tips, uh, Terry? Yeah. So what uh, what you do when? Uh something comes uh, maybe negative uh, to you or something that's not going your way uh you you want to uh adapt to it and improvise uh and change your approach to what you're doing so if you're doing something and you're following falling into like what i call the so-called rabbit hole and you try it again and you go right into the same rabbit hole or the same hole on the street what you have to do is adapt change improvise uh, and change your approach to what you're doing and try something different so that things work out better and stay focused on your goal and stay focused on what you're doing Yes, that's right. You know, because a lot of people out there, they after the pandemic, you know, they uh, uh, catch some kind of uh, bad habit later, you know, like uh, lie down or sit back and then uh, watching TV for several hours a day, you know, and uh, stay later until the, the two, three, four o'clock, you know, and uh, and uh, a lot of people, you know, they losing the uh, their confidence, though, and uh, their the strength, you know, to break through their 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 limit, you know. So and 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 I believe that uh, the people, if uh, they don't uh, uh, are proactive, you know, and move the body regularly, they will easily get sick or getting get trouble, right? Terry, can you tell me about well, your? Uh, your we have some people that worked in. Uh, I work in a mail company. And two years later, after the fact, they're moving. They're moving every day when they're working, and then all of a sudden, they stop. And for they 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 actually pass on uh, two years later because their body probably is so used used to working and being at a fast pace, and they're doing physical work, lifting or whatever, walking all day, and all of a sudden they do nothing. So what happens is uh, the body becomes. Uh, it becomes older it uh it, it uh, it's not rejuvenated so the bottom line is that uh even if you're retired or you're not uh, working you have to do um the, the, the ultimate goal is to do physical exercise you know i'm not saying how long but we know that it's for about 20 minutes of cardio physical for three to four times a day and i think you do swimming and uh yes also you can do qigong mental physical and some sort of spiritual connection the combination of all the physical mental qigong and spiritual exercise will give you the full plan and the full thing that would be good to keep you going every day i'm not saying that uh it nothing i will say can help you'd have you know but we I believe that things are okay and it's okay to do it, but I won't profess anything on this video saying anything is better than other things. Right. That's true. You know, the Qigong exercise or some kind of even though uh, push up, you know, sit up or do the, the weightlifting or the, some gym, you know, they really helpful to, you know, to empower the people the energy and spirit and um, their mind and their discipline is very also important you know so there you know, for for our qigong training we have a very simple exercise just like the massage the face you know and then even though they do the massage you know massage the face the massage the crown you know yeah even though tapping 
the whole body, you know, tapping the, 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 the thymus, you know, and that's a simple exercise. It can make you up, it can, you know, uh, boosting you, you know. Some people, you know, they, they feel a lack of a confidence, you know, uh, feel so uh, scared or something, you know. Just a simple exercise, you know, it can, that, that can help you to boosting your energy, you know, to bring, improve your confidence, you know. And when you talk, when you deal with the people, you have a much, uh, you know, smooth and much of be yourself, you know. Uh, what do you think about that, you know? It's uh, it's been proven and it's been studied and uh, yes, physical, uh, mental, and uh, spiritual exercises uh, uh, they all are very good for you. And I don't think anybody could say that they're not good for you. Uh, and 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 it all works out in the end. And uh, uh, you may ha you'll, you you could have better focus, you could have better concentration, and your mood changes to better when you exercise and do as you say, Qigong or some sort of exercise. Uh, so yes, it does help. And I'm sure there's lots of studies that have proven that it is better for, it's better uh, for you to do something than not do anything at all. Exactly, you know. So, you know, we, for our Qigong training, uh, we show the people how to breathe, you know, how to just uh, uh, some gesture, just like use a thumb massage or index fingers, or even you know you do the fingernail pinch, uh, the fingertips, you know, and uh, or use a little bit acupressure point, you know, to empower your energy and your discipline and your mind, you know, it's a very simple and easy, you know. So if uh, everybody have uh, uh, time and uh, interest, you know, to take some training, you know, we are always welcome. You tell me you can you can uh, give us some example, you know, of what kind of uh, training you can use it for empower yourself to improve your confidence well actually okay so uh you can do uh uh like like even a stationary uh a stationary bike for uh, mm -hmm. uh 20 20 minutes uh uh three or four times uh yeah. a week uh you can do swimming is very good exercise and i think you swim also uh you can do uh uh push-ups uh sit-ups mm -hmm. uh, but but also let's let's talk about the meditation and the qigong. You can do uh, med meditation has been proven to relax the body, uh, and um, qigong has been proven to help uh, the body and visualization, concentration, and keep uh, a person focused in every day. So the combination uh, I, I believe, and I think you believe too, is uh, the combination of. Uh, physical, mental, spiritual, Qigong combined uh, will help somebody in everyday uh, activity and exercise uh, and uh, feeling and maybe help them, but we won't say for sure, but help them in longevity where they're able to live a better and maybe a healthier life uh, in, in a, uh, uh, during their life and not get so many ailments. And if they do have ailments, it might just be they can coexist with their elements and understand uh, their body will be okay and they'll just coexist with what they, they have, you know? Yeah, very good. Thank you, Terry. You know, you have a wonderful uh, experience and, uh, and the tips that share with us, you know? Yeah, thank you very much, you know? Thank you. And uh, take care, bye-bye.